I have been on both sides of the table in an audit, both the auditor and auditee, and I know that the process can be really nerve wracking um, and it can feel very personal. But a lot of HSQF auditors come from the sector. Um, I think you'll find we're very nice. <laughs> Um, and we do want to be there to support your organisation. The first audit is always going to be the hardest, um, but it does get easier the more you do. I think sometimes organisations take fear of the whole process, especially when it's their first time. Uh, the six standards and all of the substandards can be quite fearful for an organisation looking at the whole thing. And secondly, I think the other thing is the fear of the auditor themselves and their perception of that, but also of non-conformance and what that actually means for an organisation. So from my perspective and having been on both sides working for an auditing body and also now working in the sector in a quality role, organisations should see the auditor as just another person coming in to provide advice and opportunities for improvement as well as the non-conformities. Whilst some might be worse than others and you might not be completely prepared for the audit, be as prepared as you can and if they find something for you, see it as an opportunity for improvement and go from there. You get a time period to work with your auditor or the auditor body and certification body and work through the process, finish out the non-conformity, and then keep going on about how your organisation provides and delivers the services that they were funded to do so.